Well, DJ, let's show you what kind of thing we have here. Well, we installed a new update on the scanner today, and it turns out that now with the help of this scanner, we can see what prohibited things a person has. For example, it could be some kind of weapon, and since the metal detector is triggered by this, then the scanner uses X-ray, which means that we will be able to understand what kind of weapon it is and see it. It will now beep unpleasantly because metal has been detected. But what will the program and the scanner itself show you? But look, you are the skeleton and you can see that there is a grenade here. So that's how it works. Well, that's super cool. So we can catch violators and find out if they have prohibited items. To JJ and Mikey, how are things here? We brought in new prisoners. Come on, guys, check what prohibited items they have here. Is the scanner working properly? Yes, it looks like yes, General. All these scanners work just fine and show locked items that people may have. And who are all these people? We have reinforcements here. There are some prisoners here think there are those who tried to illegally cross the border. And there are some terrorists who wanted to sabotage here. But we caught them all in time and they did not have time to do anything bad. Okay. Well then, you don't have to worry, General. We'll do everything. So our task is to see if these guys have anything locked up. So what, Mikey? Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. To get started, we need to make sure that each of these people passes through the scanner. And as soon as you hear an unpleasant signal, stand still and don't move. That means you have locked up items. Let's start with you. LeVay, hurry up and get through the scanner. Let's see what you have here. Come on, come on, move, dude. No need to stand here for so long. Go ahead and go already. So, so, stop, friend. And what is this forbidden thing? you have hidden here. What's in there, DJ? Oh, come on. Go through that other scanner again. Let's see what he has here now. So, what's there? So, so. It looks like he has a knife and grenades. Give it all here, dude. You can't go inside with all that. I can see that they weren't searched well enough. Apparently, all of these guys were caught recently if they have things like that on them. Then come here, next one. You do the same thing. Go through the scanner, and if it beeps, go through the next scanner. Well, that's how we're going to work. It's much faster and more efficient to conduct a search than what we did before. So, what do you have here? Come on, show me. Some grenades again, and some other chemicals. What made you even think you could bring all that into the base? All these guys are so dangerous. I didn't even think that they could have so many dangerous things with them. So come on, come on, go through the scanner already. Also, if the scanner beeps, then you go through the next one. Yeah, I can see that we've got some kind of jackpot today. What's that dude got with him? Let's search him too and I'll take him to the base. Everything's the same as usual. Only this time, it's some kind of ammo. You know that Mikey is actually a really great scanner. I have no idea how much money such a thing costs, but I'm absolutely sure that it's absolutely worth the money. It's a really great thing that shows just a variety of things. So guys, let's not stand still. Do the same as I said. Go through the first scanner, and if it beeps, then immediately move to the other one. So how are you doing here? Everything's working out, right? Of course. Nothing complicated about it, Mikey. When we get tired of standing and looking here, then we can switch places. Will you search the things that you can find? What do we have here? Is there one last dude left? We did all this pretty quickly, much faster than before. And I congratulate you on that. In fact, it's not the end yet because the general sent me a message that you still have to do something. You can look in your mail. There's a letter from him there. DJ, what happened here? Did we do all the work? No. Saj, this soldier said that the general sent us some kind of task by mail. Maybe you should take a look at what's in there. Oh, yeah, right. I noticed a letter here, and it says that a truck with weapons will be arriving very soon. We'll need to scan all the weapons in the boxes. Yeah, so that's what it means. Why do we need to scan the weapons? I don't get it. Or do they just need to know the quantity of these weapons or something? That doesn't interest us anymore, DJ. If we were told to do this, then we have to do our job. You'd be an excellent soldier who would follow orders. Not like me. I'm constantly trying to find out things that don't concern me. Well, it looks like that van has arrived. Now we need to somehow load these boxes onto the scanner and scan everything in there. I have an idea. So we can, for example, build a conveyor belt here. 
It will move the boxes and we will check what is inside. Come on, come on! It will even be much easier than carrying all this in your hands. Come on, Mikey, come here. Are you going to help me now? Do we need to load all these boxes here or something? No, JJ, that's not right. We were told that every weapon needs to be checked for quality. What the? I don't get it. How is that? What's the point? They found these guns in one village. So, they say that it might not only be a weapon, but something else. By the way, what does the scanner say? In general, this scanner is now determining what kind of gun it is. That is, there are original weapons here. That is, real ones. And there are fake guns. And I just throw these fake guns into another compartment. What does fake mean? And why do we need these guns then? It's a bit strange, to be honest. Most likely, all these fake guns can be useful later for melting them down for metal or something. In general, you can get material from them. That's what I think. Well, that's quite logical. I understand that there is a lot of fake junk here, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Well, are there many guns left there? <laughs> well, there are still quite a few weapons here. So yeah, we'll have to spend a lot of time here. I've heard a legend that, supposedly, there's some kind of lost mine in this desert. <laughs> and in its vicinity, you can hear terrible screams. <sighs> well, probably some coyotes. We're in the desert. They say those are inhuman screams. Even animals don't make screams like that. Ghosts? Mutants? Monsters? Are you suggesting we go there and have a look or something? At night? No, I'm really scared, to be honest. I wouldn't want to go there. We don't even know what dangers there might be. That's right. The dangers there might be the most terrible and scary. So you shouldn't risk your life unnecessarily and go where we... where we're definitely not expected. Who knows? Maybe this is some kind of bandit lair. Do you think there are bandits in this desert? That is, some kind of terrorists? And why would they spend time here at all? It's empty, and there's nothing here. We and our base are here. They can cook anything. Or maybe they do some illegal things like make bombs or something else. No one in the desert sees it. Maybe you're right, or maybe you're not. How could our reconnaissance teams have found out about such things then? Do we even know? We don't know anything. We're just simple guards. We're not even full-fledged soldiers. We're just bonds. <laughs> well, we still have a lot ahead of us. We've only been here for a short time. It's only been a couple of months. Well, that's it, JJ. We don't have any more weapons, and all those things will be useful to this base. OK. As far as I understand, we don't have any work yet, right? Well, actually, yes. There are some documents and other junk there where you have to fill out reports, but if you want, go write them. No, definitely not. We can look on the cameras to see if everything is okay. And if it is, I'd rather sit and watch TV. But we should still lock the gates so that no one extra gets through here. Well, you're right. Although, who would be here anyway? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What the hell was that? Mikey, you saw all this too, right? It looks like... Oh, no! That dude had a ton of dynamite on him. And that's a soldier from our base or something? Let's find him quickly. Oh, my God! It's like he disappeared. How could that even happen? What the hell, Mikey? Gunpowder? So those are that soldier's tracks? And they led us right to this place. Yeah, yeah. It looks like there's some kind of warehouse here. Well, then let's go see what's going on here. Look over there, JJ. It looks like there are four soldiers standing there. And one of them has a ton of dynamite on them. What should we do? Our general is standing there. Hey, general, come here quickly for a minute. We suddenly have a problem here. What's the problem with JJ and Mike? And why did you leave your post? The thing is, one of our soldiers turned out to be a rat, and a bunch of dynamite was found on him. And his trail led straight to this building. And he's sitting there now. So T, if you say this and it's true, then I'm going to bring them all to the scanner now and we'll check them. And you go back there. You're going to check them now. Yes, sir. My god, how could this even happen? We almost didn't notice him. Well, I agree with you. All we had to do was get distracted a little and we started having problems like this. So JJ and Mike, if you're lying, then you'll have to hand over a fine and you'll be disciplined for behaving like that. But if you're not lying, so soldiers and everyone stand in a straight line or so your job will be to walk through the scanner one by one. And if I find what we're looking for on any of you, then you'll regret doing this. Come on, come on. We're going to check them now, and since they all have weapons, the scanner will beep constantly. Our task with you, Mikey, is to find dynamite. Let's go. First one go. What's wrong with him? Did you find anything? <laughs> no. 
This guy is clean. So, let's get the next one here. So come on, come on in here already. Wes, who's next? What do you have here? This one's clean too. And it turns out that there are two people left. Come on, next one, come on in. So, what do we have here? This guy's clean too. So there's only one guy left. Come on, come on. I don't get it, soldier. Do you need a special invitation or something? Do you have some kind of problem or maybe you're just going to go ahead? Come through the scanner, I told you. Come on, everyone. Get away from me right now or I'll blow everything up and there won't be a single living spot left of you. I said, get away right now. Get your stupid head punched. My God, our driver turned out to be a rat and he proved it with his fart. This is terrible. What kind of book does he have there? Is this his diary or something? And what is written here? It seems that there are some coordinates and it says that when he completes the task, he should come to this place. It, so that's how it is. So it's true that he's a traitor. JJ and Mikey, you'll go there as scouts. I need your help. Yes, of course. Yes, sir. We don't mind going on this mission to gather information. Then follow me. You'll fly by helicopter, Taran, as soon as you arrive at the location, find any evidence. I ask you not to attack anyone and not to start a conflict. Your task is simply to survey the area. And if you find something, immediately write to me and tell me what you found. Is everything clear to you? Yes, sir. Everything will be fine. So we'll fly on the mission and complete it. Good luck to you, JJ and Mike. I hope everything works out for you, friends. Well, here we are, and again, empty and just desert. There is nothing here, and now we need to find at least some traces of what could have happened here. Yes, but I noticed something here. It seemed to me that when we were flying in a helicopter, I saw here some kind of depression or something. Do you think there might be some kind of base here? A cave or something? What are we looking for? JJ, be quiet. It seems like there's a guard there. It seems like we found some place. Most likely, these are the coordinates in that note. Do you think there might be some kind of base here? A cave or something? What are we looking for? Well, we have one thing here that we decided to take. What's this, JJ? What's inside that cave? It seems so. There are bandits sitting here. There are a bunch of different cars here. There are some boxes here. It's not clear what's there, and we can only guess what's inside. Do you think we've come to the right place? Or maybe we're mistaken? I'm not sure about that, Mikey. But I still think that that traitor soldier was working with the bandits as a spy at our base. And now he's gone. Or rather, he's in captivity, and they'll ask him for information. And these guys, they're most likely some kind of terrorists. Who's that? Is that some soldier again? Oh no, that can't be! Yeah, it seems like our base was unlucky with some soldiers who turned out to be just spies and traitors. So, JJ, I sent the general all the information we found out, but here's what I suggest. I think we need to go there and see what's in that room. Mikey, even if we go here, we need to be very careful. Because what if they suddenly notice us? I mean, we don't even have a chance against all of them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's why we can sabotage here. What if we, for example, let's go there for now? There's so much noise here that no one can even hear us. Well, I guess they can't see us either, which is good, Mikey. And in general, we need to come up with a plan. We can't just sit here. We need to do something. It looks like there's some kind of room or space there. I don't know how much danger there might be, but we should go there. No problem. I don't mind. And I don't mind blowing this whole place up so there's nothing left. Let's see what we can do. Because going into battle isn't an option. Because you were right when you said that we simply don't have a chance. We don't even have any weapons. Look, Mikey. It looks like that's the guy we saw on the cameras. Let's destroy him. I'm going to take him prisoner now. But I need to get him out. Hey, did you think you could do your dirty work like that? Hiya! Put him there. So what now? There's a laptop there. Maybe there's something in it? Yeah, yeah. There's clearly information and photos of our base here. They seem to have been gathering information to attack us. That's awful. Hey, Mikey. It seems like there's another safe here. Should we see what's in it? Yeah, but 
I take it there's no access code to the safe, right? Then we need to find the combination to that safe. I have an idea how to open the doors. Now we need to see what the scanner will show what is in this room. Do you think that it will be able to show a piece of paper with the code for the safe door written on it? I will be surprised in that case. Well, yes. It turned out that there is some kind of lever in this room. And it is somewhere on this side, which means that it is possible to unlock, I don't know what, but it is probably possible to open something. Well, did you find something? Because I don't see anything here yet. You need to enter this combination of numbers, minus 5312 factorial. And there is a ton of stuff here, and even explosives. Well, finally we're here again. Let's press the lever or something to blow up the shelter. You know what, Mikey? With such a successful mission like ours, we could become spies ourselves. Yeah, I'm thinking about it too. So, we'll have to say a few words to our general for doing such a job. Maybe we'll even get a promotion. Yes, maybe we'll even become spies, huh? 